Welcome back to the lab. Sunday morning, Father's Day actually, out here in the workshop still. Why? Do the mahi, get the treats. Sounds like a motivational speaker, doesn't it? So I actually like motivational speakers because really if you're watching motivational videos and all that sort of stuff, you already want to achieve something more. You already have the motivation to do better and you just need to get yourself into gear. You don't need to listen to someone else telling you to do that to get yourself into gear. Irony. What I'm up to is what I didn't finish yesterday. We're going to make these radiuses here to um, blend as best as we can this new, this old and this new and this old bit all stuck together onto this old bit here. Very old bit. As far as I can work out, this, this piece of plastic here is original to the actual chassis that this whole car is made from uh, so is that bonnet in those lights wing mirrors not the windscreen not the doors not the roof not the entire outside of the back of the car except for the hatch and tail lights actually but i do i digress now what we need to do here really is to start looking at this and thinking i can actually we got a pointer Alan's got a pointer from Skid Factory. Here's a pointer. We can um, we can do this. What I've got there with a radius on there and just blend that in there. That'll look okay. If we want to think about structural integrity, we've then got relatively thin piece of material across here, although it will have a panel that goes from this point back to here. That'll add some guts to it. But it's not a lot of material there, right? And we've got this great big wide open spance, which has got plastic. It's not a lot of structural integrity in that. It'll add some support, but not a lot. So I started thinking, oh, I could take this this line here. There's a bit of a panel line there. It's a bit, bit hard to see, but it's there. We could run that from this corner, straighten this line out. That's not actually parallel with what's happening down here, but never mind. Um, but we run the piece all the way across here. That'll add some guts to it. It'll join that piece there to that piece there and make it all stronger. I was thinking we could actually bring that panel line there, move this down a little bit and tidy things up. Might look a little bit nicer. Then we've got the issue of what to do about this license plate holder thing. Do we work around that so that we can still put our license plate on there? Like that. Or do we leave it off because that's actually relatively heavy and will reduce the airflow into the air a, a bit. It's, I don't know, it's 100 mils high and 300 across, 3,000 square millimetres of less airflow going in there. Although, if we're at a high speed track and we don't need as much airflow, then that can be our double as a blanking plate and add advertising for old mate and myself there so i'm standing here and i'm going hmm well we need to draw a line somewhere both metaphorically and physically how much work do we want to put into this and where you know where do we stop because the reality is if i've gone as far as this trim line that goes across here it's basically where that arrow is then there's not that much more work to actually go all the way up to the top do the whole lot blank off these grills that we aren't using anymore anyway just leave the panel outline shape of the panels there and fill those in with stickers later on like many many race cars do with headlights and spotlights and all that sort of carol we could totally do that so i got that far and then I thought yesterday we didn't have much content, so we need to start a video right now. So here we go. Now, I'm going to put the phone down. I'm going to have a think and see where we get to. It is about, just about 10.30, which is not a good start to the day. It actually does look better with that license plate on there, doesn't it? Perhaps without the trim around it, which is how I normally ran it on the front. And it'll be, it'll be all right. Just a bit of a practice at trying to get these radiuses here. We need material that starts on the inside here, goes around there like that, 
with some material on the outside here. You can't fold a straight line and stretch that all the way around on a radius like that. It's too sharp. This material here just splits. However, you can do what I've done here, which was kind of, in a way, that set up there. So it's out with a hammer. See if it works or not. If it doesn't, I have to cut it. I'm going to have to weld the strip in there and it's all going to distort. And then I have to use the old angle grinders and flappy discs and whatnot. And finesse it into what we want. Piece of cake. Not the prettiest piece of aluminium on the planet, but obviously we finish it off from there. So that's going to work out all right. Still got to make up my mind whether I'm going to do the great big piece or the two little pieces though. Yeah, why not? That'll look great. Good song. Yep, that has pretty good potential. A lot of tidying up to do there, obviously. The radius is not awful. Obviously, that's not lining up very well. That needs hammer and dolly and weld from the other side to give it some guts. I'll ground off the surface a little bit. But premature. You can see that is going to crack immediately because the weld hasn't got enough guts in it to hold it all together. Which is why I weld from the other side. Again, some professionals or more experienced people will go, that's not how you do it. Don't care. Really don't care at all. So we'll get this other side done. Same as that. Not going to run the piece across there. Decided against it. Might change my mind later on if it fails or whatever. We'll do same as that there and we'll take it off and then we'll tidy up a few things and then we'll move on to the next bit I won't, i'm not going to 100 percent finish this at the moment we're going to run out of time before we really have to crack on with that bmw and a job that's turning up tomorrow so that's the way it goes all right that's looking better it's actually it depends where the light is it's such a close color to that that's how we've got away with it on the ute in case anyone hasn't picked up on it, the side skirts on the ute are actually just raw aluminium. No paint, no coating, no vinyl wrap, nothing. Just raw aluminium. And it's very, very close to the actual silver paint on the, on the vehicle. If you don't give it a clean and let things get a little bit dirty, you can't even pick that they're not painted. Quite uh, heading in the right direction. Pretty happy with this so far as i mean it's not finished there's a lot more to go and i can see the potential is what i'm happy with it's a long way better than what it has been running for quite some time now big issue being we have no panel lines here anymore we can't run the old fake carbon fiber down to here and have it stop here somewhere that's um that's just not going to work anymore so we're going to have to come up with a new color scheme might end up having to be yellow we could potentially change what we're doing with the red here and make the red come down here somewhere and then fake carbon fiber on the other side of the red or something like that or rewrap the entire car which is probably what's going to happen if i've got enough money if i've got a budget for that looking all right though oh, can't forget our dive planes dive planes would be a good one to be doing today a Sunday. Hmm. Another day of progress complete. The clock says half past. You should have knocked it off three hours ago. So let's have a look and see where I got to. It's looking all right, isn't it? There's just, um, more than a couple of pieces on here that are far from complete. But this is gives us a general idea of what it's going to look like. Obviously, I'm not going to run it as raw aluminium. My wife said you could polish it. And I was like, hell no. There's so much more work involved in getting all the surfaces up to a point where you can polish it. I mean, let's be reasonable about it. All this stuff here that's still the actual original material is going to be not bad. It's only a couple of hours work in that. And you polish all that stuff up. It's the rest of it that's going to take another day or something. A lot of work and it's on the front of a race car and then I'll be too scared to drive it properly because we've put 15 million hours worth of work into the piece that's right on the front of the car that'll wear it if I get it wrong. So 
Well, did all listen? Yeah, I did that from 1.6. Was going to do it from 1.2 to keep the weight down. Did it from 1.6 to keep it nice and strong and rigid. And eventually, when we do our carbon fiber mold, it's not going to move and walk around and be somewhere different to where we want it to be. Uh, these pieces here, yeah, not perfect. This one's actually a little bit wrong. The angle's not quite right there, so that needs correcting. It hangs out too far at the bottom anyway, so that's actually, that won't be a big issue to fix that. This side here's much, much better. These pieces actually stop just here at the moment, and these are just stuck here, just so you guys get a better idea of the general, general um, aesthetics of the whole thing. As I said, it's far from finished. Lots of hammer marks everywhere, all over the place. All this welding will get buffed off. I'll do the same deal as what I've done with everything else. I'll weld it from the other side so it's got lots, lots of strength and doesn't walk away. Hammer and dolly it, etc. and grind it all flush. But it's looking much, 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 much nicer than what it was before. I will have to do something about organising a tow hook, whether it goes back there or not. I don't know. I do have the little plastic blank thingy that goes in that hole. It might not fit on that bumper. And they come with a new one if we put a new bumper on there. Which, as I've discussed earlier, we probably will be. Uh, before I roll everything back inside, let's put it on the ground and have a look. Looks okay, doesn't it? Yep, excuse the polygon. Is it polygon? It's four-sided. Excuse the lines there from the welding. You Hopefully you won't be singing near that when it's all sorted out. That will disappear. I'm not sure whether we'll do like a matte black inside here or satin black or leave it raw carbon fibre or fake carbon fibre or whether it's going to be the colour of the bodywork which might go more red than it is silver at the moment. It's kind of 50-50 right now but... That'll change. Don't mind the splitter. That will change its... Everything. <laughs> it's base, It's design almost entirely. It'll still be a flat-ish thing out the front of the car, but probably not in that shape. Won't look like that. Will be a more aerodynamically sound device. Um, yeah. So I was going to do something with those front guards, but got distracted and took on this project instead. That's, that is actually... Try not to kill myself walking down the stairs. Get out of it, stretch a shrinker. It's like a photo bomber. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments if there's anything you reckon we should do with, with thinking about dive planes. Don't worry, I'll, I'll work out what angle we need to be so that we're not actually creating lift based on where everything's going there and crack on with it as I say tomorrow something else is turning up a um, an important job that we've got to get done for the guy that was um, not originally anticipated to be done at this point in time but it needs to be so it will be and then we get back onto this and the BMW and Abby the Barina. Look at that. All the air comes along. All the air comes along here and goes nom 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 nom. See ya bye.